but his wife is a trip. Amen. She came Amen. from money and has always That's had right. money, Amen. which is why I don't know what she sees in my son. He ain't got no money. <laughs> in today's session of Divorce Court, after five years of marriage, Lee Tillman is divorcing Tony Tillman because she says after he lost weight due to gastric bypass surgery, he changed into a different man. Walking around, looking in the mirror, every place in the house has to have a mirror, but he has to look in the mirror, always coming home, objection, telling me about I get, some I, I, woman objection. looking I do an at him. Was there a change in your personality after the gastric bypass? And Lee says she paid for the surgery and wants Tony's classic 1983 Zimmer as payback. It's a nice car. Thank you. Very cute. Thank you. I mean, I don't know a lot about cars, but I know cute when I see it. You've got an actually really rare car here. Uh, in 1983, it's old, but it's very exclusive. What about interior, the inside of the car? Interior Is it looks cool? really nice. It's, I, it looks very well taken care of. When I consider everything, yeah, I would, uh, I would put a price of about. She's a judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Todar, where real couples deal with real life. Divorce Court. We now join Lee and Tony Tillman as Judge Lynn hears their case. Mrs. Tillman, this is interesting. You want me to award you a 1983 Zimmer Golden Spirit Hard Coupe. Extraordinary thing. It is. It is an extra. I saw a picture of it. Thank you. It, and you it, like it was it. different. I, I'm not a car. But, but if you were a car, but person. it was cool. Thank you. But Mrs. Tillman, you say you want it. Tell me why you're here today. Okay. First of all, I'm here because baby boy over here is a mama's boy, and I'm tired of him and his mama. Okay, his mama blowing up the telephone, can't even have dinner because she calling all the time. I'm tired of it. And another thing, Mr. Mama's boy over here, I can't even go on vacation where I want to go because he want to go where his mama went. I want to go where his mama went. I want to choose my own hotel. He been trying to get me to go to Orlando, Florida. I don't want to go to Orlando, Florida. I don't want to see no rat. Yes, what he did with his mama. Okay, take me to Paris. Look at me. Do I look like I want to see a rat? <laughs> Mrs. Mr. Tillman, you've been accused of being a mama's boy. Do you care to respond to that allegation? Your Honor, yes. I, I don't want her to make you think that she didn't know that. I was a mama's boy no, when she that. met me. I was a mama's boy when we got married. I know he had I was a mama. A, you don't I deny you it. You are no, a no, mama's no, boy. No, but see, I'm a proud mama's boy, but I'm also a, a, a good husband. Contrary to what you're about to hear, I was a great husband, but I can be a mama's boy and a good husband at the same time, the same person. Define a mama's boy. We're from Chicago, okay? In Chicago, it was just my mother and I. She had been married twice, divorced twice. Mm -hmm. It was just she and I. So from the age of six until in my 30s, it was just my mother and I. I looked after her. Well, when I married Mrs. Tillman, she wanted to move to California. Guess what? I have no one in California. Her whole family is in California. But to keep the marriage working, to keep her happy as my wife, I dropped everything, including my mother, and moved out 3,000 miles away to L.A., leaving my mother behind. She has nobody. I got no brothers. I got no sisters. I got no siblings. It's just my mother. All she has is her and a dog and a couple of neighbors. And then that's it. Mrs. Tillman, your husband left his mother, went across country to be with you. How much contact could there be if I'm telling her miles dinner, away? She calling about five times, checking on him. He's fine. She just wanted to see if I was okay. How often yeah. does she call during she the tell her, she would, I, tell I'm, her I'm truth. under oath. I'm not going to get perjury. I tell her truth. about five times. You a know, day? Or or just during dinner? Or or during, during dinner. Okay. Five yeah. times during dinner. Right. She, and that's because, you know, she's at home with a microwave and a TV. She's got nobody. So my mother would call, hey, how was the salad? It was good, mama. Okay. She'd call, hey, how was the dinner? It's really good. Okay. How did hey, she how, make how, the salad? How was your dessert? How did she you make know, the she, salad? He bought the salad like his mom made the salad. Right. See, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like my mother, my mother knows how I like my food. My, my mother wrote a letter. Let you, Joke is you. Well, let's see she, the letter. She 
younger. Yeah, a little eight and a half by eleven. But I, my I mother was scared got for a minute. She's then. got, she's got my the back. The mom was going to pop out. Thank Don't you. worry, she thank can't you. write. She can't write. Thank you. So thank your you. mother wrote me a letter. Yes, she, she did. Wrote and, her. And, and she could you. What? Go ahead. What? She don't even what? know how to write. What? What? I mean, why? She just wanted to let you know she's got my back, and it's not just me making this up. The fact that my mother said, hey, I am in this with you, son, and we're going to do this. Well, she wanted to run my I, house. I mean, I can't really use this as evidence of anything. But it because is, it's, it's an out-of-court statement made for the truth she of the matter. She doesn't want to run my house. Don't worry about it. Since she, you know, okay. you're excited about it. Thank, I'm going to read it. Let's hear this. Thank you. Thank you. Let's all hear I'm proud this. Let us say this. Thank you. Dear peoples of divorce court. That's right. Peoples. All of this here everybody. is Antonio's mother. And I is here to tell you right here and now. That's my mom. Here forthwith and notwithstanding that I am not, will not, and care not to be associated with my son's wife. This woman. I love my wife. son and I always will be his wife. And always will, but his wife is a trip. Amen. She came Amen. from money and has always That's had right. money, Amen. which is why I don't know what she sees in my son. He ain't got no money. She wants truth. my poor baby boy to sell the only thing he has left in this world that Say makes that. him look like he got money. Thank you. It, yeah, you have to fake it and till you make it. And that is his you, car. Thank you. My daddy left that car for wow. that ignorant. Boy, she be no, she no, 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 no. She only called me that. No, no, wait, no. Read, you want me to read it? I'm gonna read it. So let her read the letter. My daddy left that car for that ignorant boy. That, that's you. I, that's it. That, and I, I must day. admit, Antonio has taken good care of that car. Uh huh. But See? that woman should not be allowed to sue him for that car. Shame on her and shame on y'all if y'all allow this. To happen. That's right. <laughs> When Divorce Court continues, what is Tony's main complaint about Lee? The stress of living with this That's woman he wanted to look like. caused me to go He bald. wanted to look like I had hair because he fucked the I got ah. no hair now. If you would like your case heard on